Good morning, Joe, and it's Saturday, and it's February, which means it's time for another theme week. This theme week is about top five lists, and I'm going to kick it off here with my top five favourite doomsday theories. Number five, the sun expansion. Now, this one's kind of a cheat, Joe, because it isn't really a theory. This is actually true. It's a fact that in millions of years, the sun will expand and destroy all of our solar system, which is natural in the life cycle of stars, because they expand, then implode in on themselves, creating a brand new black hole. And, of course, our star is no different. But, of course, that's millions of years away at the moment, so I'm not really going to worry about it yet. Oh, what a nice day for a walk. Wait. What's happening to the sun? Ah! Anyone who's not wearing a million degree sunburn's gonna have a really bad day. Casual Terminator quote there. Uh. Number four, revolution. Now, John, the end of the world in the Bible is one of the best mind fucks of insanity that you can have in literature, and probably one of the best apocalypse stories ever written down on paper. You've got all kinds of weird things being thrown at you, you've got beings made completely of eyes, angels ringing trumpets of doom, a seven-horned lamb with seven eyes, scorpion-tailed locusts, 200 million lion-headed cavalry, the whore of Babylon, death and Hades. And here's the interesting bit, Joe, and this is only a small bit of revelation. The final chapter of the Bible is designated to the revelation of Jesus Christ as told by John, as told by... God. And it kicks ass! Some of the most surreal imagery you'll ever see or read is in this chapter. And as far as apocalypses go, the Bible really knows how to mess up the mind of the non-believers. Number three, Nibiru. If you think the Bible's take on Doomsday is a little bit crazy, Joe, and then take a listen to this. The Nibiru theory is about a planet called Planet X, which is going to arrive in our solar system in 2012 and then collide with Earth. This will, of course, knock us out of orbit and send us spiralling off into space. And this is the crazy thing, John. People believe that this rogue planet's gonna come right the fuck out of nowhere. But it is now 2012 and it hasn't arrived. Scientists said that if another planet was gonna collide with us any time this year, we'd all be able to see it with the naked eye. A bit like in Doctor Who, where you can see the planets in the sky. Or Star Wars, where you can see the two suns on Tatooine. Nibiru would be there, right up there. We'd all be looking at it. But of course the Nibiru believers don't listen to the scientists and think it's still out there. I guess it's just held up in traffic or something. Number two, the zombie epidemic. Now everyone our age, Joan, of course, knows about the zombie apocalypse. It's become really popular ever since Hollywood grabbed it by both hands and shook all the money they could out of it. But it's not based on any science, it is only a worry because of the A-list Hollywood movies. But of course, like all apocalypse ideas, there are people who actually believe that this is real. And for those people I put this to, think about how delicate and complicated it is to be alive. The power taken to animate a human body is so immense and can't be recreated. And of course, the belief that a virus or a mutation can recreate life is just absurd. So of course, enjoy all the gore and fun from zombie films, but don't take it too seriously, especially don't go getting any weapons ready to protect yourself, because I don't really expect the undead are going to come knocking. And of course, my number one doomsday theory of recent times is December the 21st, 2012. FUCK YOU! Yes, you all knew it was coming on December the 21st. The Mayan calendar is gonna run out and we're all going to die. Now let me remind you, John, that calendars run out every single year. So why is this year and this calendar any different? Well, John, it's for the same reason that the zombies are popular. HOLLYWOOD! Documentaries, movies, and fact files on the internet all helped increase the hype of 2012. And if you believe it, you are, of course, a victim to corporate merchandising. All of these apocalypse theories are the same. They're all victims of hype and stuff. 2012, what a load of shirt. Those are my top five doomsday theories, Joan. I know you're currently up the road at the moment, not in Bath, because you're here to see Belle and me. I look forward to your next vlog. I look forward to seeing you again when I get back from London, and I'll see you on Wednesday.